Turn to Norfolk Southern. Its safety practices are under fire tonight for the third time in just over a month. The company is at the center of a federal investigation right here in Ohio. And this time it's in Cleveland after one of its conductors was killed when police say a dump truck hit a guardrail or hit a rail car rather. It happened overnight off West Third Street at Cleveland Cliffs. News 5 investigator Tara Morgan has been digging into this. Uh, so Tara, what have you learned? Well, the NTSB late today announced a special investigation of Norfolk Southern. Federal investigators for this latest case were set to arrive late today at Cleveland Cliffs. New video from above Cleveland Cliffs. Non-stop truck and rail traffic hours after a deadly collision between a Norfolk Southern train and dump truck just after one Tuesday morning. So I'm calling from Norfolk Southern Railroad. I'm just trying to get a little bit more information in regards to the conductor that was struck by a um, truck. Norfolk Southern says its train was going through a rail crossing when conductor Lewis Schuster was killed. Cleveland police say the dump truck hauling limestone had just come from a stop when it moved forward and hit the first train car. Police say Schuster was outside on the front left side of the car, crushed between the train and dump truck, according to fire records. The truck is owned by TMS International. The company says it's fully cooperating with authorities. Since December 2021, the NTSB has launched investigation teams to five significant accidents involving Norfolk Southern. It's now opening a special investigation of the company's safety practices and culture. The rail company came under heavy criticism after the February 3rd derailment and controlled chemical burn in East Palestine. Then one month later, a Norfolk Southern train went off the tracks in Springfield. Schuster was a member of the Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers and Trainmen. The union says they're respecting his family's wishes and not commenting at this time as they mourn. Norfolk Southern says it's doing all it can to support the conductor's family and colleagues. Now OSHA is also investigating. The NTSB is urging Norfolk Southern to take immediate action to review its safety practices with employee input and make changes. Norfolk Southern's last employee death was in December in Alabama. And according to the Federal Rail Administration, 11 rail employees from different companies died on the job last year, which is a dramatic decrease from decades ago. I'm News 5 investigator Tara Morgan. All right, Tara, thanks a lot. Since 2018, only two states have seen more train accidents in Ohio. This is according to the Department of Transportation's Federal Railroad Administration. Georgia and Texas had the most train crashes, according to the report. Ohio had 255 over a four-year span. Only two other states had more than 200. The most recent report does not include statistics from last year or 2023.